Hey, this is Mass X with yet another Leech Marcel video. And now we are doing Nell. Yes, the you are Christmas slash winter slash whatever you want to call it event. We are now going to take our first quick look at you are Nell in action. Alrighty, real quickly, let's go ahead and give you the stat breakdowns. First off, Nell opens up at three stars, not two. So you're only getting three and four star stats right now for me. Three star stats, as you can see, clocking in at 2, 10, 8, 70. Alrighty, similar to Grimjow, I put it to level 99. It's um, also only got uh, level 64 across the board. Um, as well as one Awakened Stone across the board, as well as this time I did go ahead and do the Awakened Weapon right away. So she does have the Awakened Weapon and one of all other items, including the clothes, tome, etc. All right, so as you can see, three stars. Next one is going to take 80. And let's go ahead and take a look at the four star. Yes, we do. 219.770. The only difference between the two is what, do you ask? What I said before, when you level up, you get a new skill opening that is leveled up. That is the only difference. Everything else is remaining the same. Okay. Give you a little bit more of a quick look at her real quick. Things that we didn't discuss before. I'm putting a War Soul of Vigilance on her for now, just because I want that HP increase, as well as reduce the damage, all right? So that's clear with everybody. We can run through this so everybody's on page. All right, promotion, as you can see, as I talked about, boom, right across the board. Um, she's at rainbow two blue, four stars, as we said. As you can see, the skills are at 99, and of course, the War Souls, as I showed before. So, what are we going to do right now? We are going to test her out. So, with that, let's go ahead and first going to do a run on Squad Boss to see her durability, as well as watch her skills and look for anything that might be concerning. Then we're going to go to some team matches, and in the team match, I'm not including any other healers to see how she helps and assists the team. All right, there she is. Let's go ahead and just do this quick run. This shouldn't be too long. And just looking, just watching. Well, she's hardly taking any damage. Wow. Okay. She's not going to do any damage, but she's not taking any either. So she's definitely going to be... Oh, I like that. I don't remember seeing that before. <laughs> nice graphic. I just don't remember that. Um, all right, let's see. All right, now we're getting her rage skill. Yeah, I don't think I saw her mastery skill before. I remember seeing this. And yeah, she's not going to do much damage, but the good news is she is barely taking damage. So she's going to do quite well on that front line. No issue at all. Very cool. Okay, that's a good sign right there. And the big question, though, of course, is going to be when we get her into the team and what she can and can't do um, for assistance with the team that she is uh, playing with. I really want to see how that works out. All right. And we got a couple more, then we will get to those team matches right away. I also put Grimjow on there so we can continue to see him and see how he works out. Um, so, let's get a double whammy in this video, all right? Because I am. I'm going to sit down and, and, and run some hard numbers on him when I've got like three hours to just run back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back tests. All right, this is going to wrap it up one more. Step on her a few more times. Very happy to see she is not taking much damage at all. Be curious to see how she holds up against some decent size attackers. All right, let's go ahead and see that stat sheet real quickly. All right, nine million, fine for defensive. But yeah, she, she took a beat, no problem. Very happy with what I saw so far, at least with her durability. All right, let's go ahead and have our first match. I'm going to use somebody different out of the gate that has a lot of attackers on their team just to see how they hold up and how Nell helps. So let's go ahead and... All right, let's see how this goes. Hi, Uncle 
逃げないとなるもんだ Say I like that mastery skill from her. Okay, this is going a little quicker than I expected. We'll probably go back to the team we were playing before. Not so far, her activity looks pretty good on it. I'd feature some newer characters in this one for fun. Alright. Looks like this one might be done at the end of this round. So then we'll move on and pit her against who we were having issues with. Killing Grimdraw, of course. Let's take a quick look at DAS statistics real quickly. Oh, interesting. I would never have guessed she did 7% of the damage. Grim is at 10. Yeah. But see, look at that. Grim's at third behind AY and Shinji. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like something might be off with Grim's um, coding, but who knows? I could be wrong. Oh, what the heck, let's do somebody different and then we'll move on to the other team that we had before. Let's see how this one, this one is a little bit more similar to the team that I used against Grimdry the whole time. I said earlier, um, after the holiday weekend, I'm going to probably put out two more videos, one for each of them, getting a lot more time in on them. This is just to give you some looks out of the game. But I, I gotta say, man, I'm liking what I see out of now already. I'm curious to see her against the next team. Three out of six on this one. Well, at least one of them will get purified. Takes a few rounds to break through it. Like the little floating gingerbread man. Very Christmassy. Oh, everybody's still alive. See that? Um, there's not even a healing missile on anybody, just so you're aware. So everything's reliant on her or the skill sets of the characters. Yes, 
he will. Boy. <laughs> Telling you. I'll eat you, girl. <laughs> has, has Grimjow's name on it. <laughs> Continues to kill, 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 and um, he was not kept alive. So nobody gets killed. Ugh, I hate auto and AI. today. I finally get mass freeze on the team. About time. It kept happening to me all day. Alright, hopefully this will do it. Come on, A1. Break through. We're gonna get Yuki zeros. But my luck has been really bad today in these matches. Okay. Well, we're about there. I think we can go ahead and skip out. Alright, let's take a look at Dad's stats real quickly. Only 3% for the new nail for attack, but that's fine with me because she's not there for attacking. Got 11% out of the Grim, AY21, Shinji23. Grim is really trailing, but again, he's four stars. But still wondering, honestly. All right, let's play the team I was playing all throughout the Grim Jow videos, or video, not plural. Let's see how this setup does against it. There's no, there's no doubt she's she's gonna hold fine on the front line.
Ooh, my Shinji's a little low there. Once this one's done, we'll go back to her and go through her skill set. Well, saw the healing there, so there's no doubt about that. So Christmas or a heat made, but that was a definitely significant amount. So clearly that's activating. Feeling a lot more comfortable with Mel right now than I was with Graham. Too bad she keeps hitting Yuki. <sighs> Nobody done yet. Wow. I'm relying a lot on Shinji, given what's going on with Grin. <sighs> oh, one more hit, she was then gone. Curse you are, Hime. Let's see if he kills Grim. Nope. No Grim death. There goes AY. That's okay. We're in a pretty good spot right now. Come on, Grim, let's see what this can do. Mm -hmm. 2.4. It's better than I've seen before. But I still don't think we're quite there yet. Nice. Alright, well, you know, AY died, but she died at the end of the fourth round. Or, excuse me, yeah, fourth round. So, I can't complain if I only lose one character. And we get the win. I'm happy about that. Um, Nell seems to be activating. We'll go back over her skill set real quickly after this one. So, it's encouraging so far. I don't think we need to do as many videos to post as we do for Grim because attack stats and durability for an attacker is completely different than for a support based character. Yeah, this one's going to be wrapped up, but just go ahead. If, yeah. I just want to see his mastery. Yeah. Nothing impressive there. Let's go ahead and look at the DAS statistics real quickly. Nell's in last place with attacking. We could care less about that. Let's look real quick since we got him here. Uh, Grim at 12 and AY at 18 and Shinji. Oh, boy. Yeah. Going to really need to look at this. I mean, you know. Yeah. Hate to be a, a downer on Grim right now, but I just was expecting a lot more, so I hope there's just something not right with him. Alright, let's go back through and take a quick look again at Nell's skill set. Um, let's work backwards, because I really do want to look at the passive again. Um, she has increased damage reduction rate and resistance chance. All allies gain two stacks of blessing at the beginning of combat. They last until the end of battle, can't be dispelled, which is awesome. When an allied character with blessing effect receives a single instance of damage that exceeds 20%. Okay, so it triggers at exceeding 20% of own max HP. The character will immediately recover HP equal to 10% of Christmas Nell's max HP and expend one stack of blessing. Whenever an ally uses a rage attack, Nell's rage attack is excluded. Nell has a 60% chance to grant the ally and herself one stack of blessing. 
to a maximum of two stacks. Nell recovers 8% of her max HP and 100 rage every time Blessing is activated. When Christmas Nell dies, all allies, Blessings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it seemed to be working. Um, let's just double check her rage skill. Again, I'm not doing anything scientific right now. I'm just looking at the gameplay itself. Once I do, like I said, with Grim, who I'll do first, when I do like 30 in a row, I'll just be verifying it appears everything's working. If I still think something's wrong, then I sit down and just start trying to figure out the stats on it. Okay, let's take a look here. It deals damage to an enemy column and reduces the attack of all targets by 15% for two rounds. Increases all allies' damage reduction rate. Increases crit resistance chance. Cast Christmas Carol on all allies for two rounds. At the end of each round, characters with Christmas Carol recover HP equal to 15% of Nels. That's what we were seeing at the end of the round when, when we watched the um, health go up. So clearly seems to be working. Nothing scientific there, but the gauge was definitely going up a significant amount. All right, very cool. Okay, this video is definitely not gonna be as long as the other one because I don't think it needs to be especially out of the gate. So what's my final thoughts? <laughs> yeah, uh, no brainer, okay? We all know um, support characters that heal or do some sort of um, death prevention on teams is where the game's been going. We have Halloween Nemu, we've got now, and we've got Christmas Orihime, and we've got Unahana, who I still like. You can even use SR Orihime. Um, she can be productive. And now we've got UR Nell, who I'm going to put in that group. She is, again, I can't rank her yet because I haven't used her enough yet. I don't think she's going to surpass Halloween Nemu and or Christmas or Hime, but the more I get to test with her, I may find I like her more than Halloween Nemu because of the heal. Halloween Nemu do, does other things which really assists the team well too. So it's gonna be really what you're looking for with the team you're gonna use her with. No doubt, she's solid. She's probably gonna turn out to be really good. Um, I hope that was somewhat helpful. Um, Please, as always, like and subscribe. It actually helps a lot. With that, yet again, can you believe this? You guys are getting four videos in like a 32 hour period. That's not like me. Um, so, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Festivus, anything you celebrate or nothing that you celebrate. I hope you have some time off. So you can just celebrate having time off. With that, I will definitely be having updated testing videos for you next week after the holidays. I will get um, the uh, Awaken video I was talking about up. I just gave these priority, as well as probably some Defend Karakura Town, as well as who knows. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll throw at you a team video I've been sitting on for a while. With that, thanks as always. Have a great day.